So good morning. Um, how are you today? Could you please introduce yourself and why you're here at World Water Day? Hello, good morning. My name is Anna Marieke Mooyman. I'm living in the Netherlands and I'm a consultant, mainly a consultant working on WASH uh, and WASH in schools. You see in my badge also the name UNICEF because I'm also a um, supervisory board member of UNICEF the Netherlands. Um, I'm here to talk about um, WASH in schools because, you know, in such a big event as, as this one is, um, something important like WASH in schools might be forgotten. Yeah. Why is it so important to work on WASH in schools? You know, we think it's important if you want to teach people on good hygiene behaviors to start teaching at a young age. Preferably before school age, but you would see in many countries, you know, at school age they would start, you know, kids would come in with, without any proper hygiene behavior. Proper hygiene behavior meaning hand washing, proper use of toilets, water treatment, water usage, and so on and so on, yeah? So if you start teaching at a young age, you, you would be sure you have developed life skill forever. Okay, and um, uh, so what are, you, what are you looking forward to for the rest of the day? Uh, sharing on Washington schools, of course? No, because I'm, you know, I'm interested in the subject in general, WASH. It's good to, to be here, to hear about new developments, to talk about the, the MDG Plus or beyond M the MDGs. Also, I must say, to do a little bit of networking, you know, to talk with people and to see, you know, what they are doing and to catch up with people who I haven't seen for a long time because I've been working in the sector for almost 25 years. Okay, have you, um, uh, do you have a specific ideas or vision about the post-2015 agenda? Yes, and I was part of the debate as well, you know, especially related to Washington schools. So yeah. could you share with me with some of the differences between the MDGs, the current Millennium Development Goals, and uh, your ideas about how to integrate Washington schools in the post-2015 agenda? Uh, okay, yeah, you know, the reason why I solely talked about hygiene behavior in schools is because I feel we too often emphasize the importance of facilities. Although I do not think it's not important, I think there's too much you know, emphasis on what is facilities and hardware. That was, of course, also the case for MDGs, for the original MDGs. We've achieved a lot, uh, but we could do better. And I think, you know, the emphasis in the MDG Plus should go beyond facilities, should be on changing behavior on the long term. Okay. Hygiene behavior. Yeah. Thank